Okay, so Kathy is a repair technician for a phone company, and each week she receives a batch of phones that need repairs. So the number of phones that she has left to fix at the end of each day can be estimated with the equation P equals 108 minus 23 multiplied by D, where P is the number of phones left and D is the number of days she has worked that week. We want to know what's the meaning of the value 108 in this equation. So again, we've got four choices. Uh, answer choice A says Kathy will com complete the repairs within 108 days. B says Kathy starts each week with 108 phones to fix. C says Kathy repairs phones at a rate of 108 per hour. D says Kathy repairs phones at a rate of 108 per day. So if you weren't sure, you could always start plugging in some numbers and, you know, think about what happens. So D is going to be the number of days that she works. I'm even going to start with 0, then I'll plug in 1, then I'll plug in 2. So P is going to be the number of phones uh, that she still has to fix. So if she works 0 days, well, we would have P equals 108 minus 23 multiplied by 0. Well, 23 multiplied by 0 is 0, so we would be left with 108. So if she doesn't work at all, it says she still has 108 phones left to fix, which is probably enough to kind of tell you what's going on here, right? It, it, to me, it suggests, well, you know, maybe it's just the instant she walks into work, or maybe she took a sick day, for example. It says there's 108 phones still sitting there because she hasn't worked at all. So it sounds like to me, well, there's 108 phones that she, you know, that she has to fix each week. So I would definitely say answer choice B. You could always plug in a couple other values. You know, let's say D equals 1. Well, then we would have P equals 108 minus 23 multiplied by 1. That's going to be 108 minus 23. 108 minus 23, what is that? I guess 85. So if she works one day, there's 85 phones left to fix. If she works two days, again, we would just substitute in 23 multiplied by 2. Well, she would take off another 23 phones, so that would leave her with 62 phones left to fix. But again, to go back what we said at the beginning, I think probably even doing this is overkill. If she works zero days, it says there's 108 phones left for her to fix, which tells me, again, that answer choice B has to be what happens. Um, you know, it definitely isn't going to take her 108 days to, to fix all these phones. You can see how quickly she's, she's knocking them off. Um, part C, she's definitely not uh, doing the... the, the you know, repairs at, at 108 per hour. There's nothing even about hours in here. And she's certainly not repairing the phones at a rate at a, of 108 per day, as we can see here. So again, answer choice B is definitely the correct choice.